Oh, come on, man. Just throw the dang ball. Football. Warner steps up in the pocket. Caught! You play. Yeah, I'd really like to, bud, but they didn't pick me. I pick you. So my name is Hayden Zoller, and I'm 11 years old, and I'm in fourth grade. One of the things I talked to the Irwins about very, very early on was, who are we getting to play Zach? Because it's crucial, it's pivotal that we find someone who has the talent and the heart, but that also is authentic as possible. When we started getting more specific about casting, it was important to Kurt and myself to stand up for that aspect of hiring somebody with disability. We cast uh, Hayden Zoller, who's this amazing kid who is actually blind. I actually got interested in doing that part it's because it was for a blind person. There was people telling him that he can't even do anything. He can't do things because he's different. That was a big challenge throughout the movie. You like trucks? Black trucks. Driver. Oh, you want to be a truck driver, huh? We auditioned a lot of kids and read a lot of kids and the incredible casting director that we had that, that found him. When they called and said that they found the perfect little boy for Zach's character, you know, it's scary as a mom because this will be depicting your son. I don't think you'd be doing his story justice if you didn't try and find a child that had as close to his specific disabilities that he has. And also representation really matters. When John and Andy first saw him, they said, hey, take a look, what do you think of this kid? I'm like, cast iron right now. Like literally, like, I have done. Like it was just that evident to me how unique and special he was. And I'm so thrilled to have him because you don't, you don't always get that. Hayden Zoller is this amazing, talented, incredibly smart and really sweet kid. He's never acted before. He was, you know, discovered and is just a spectacular human being. Andy actually told me that I got the role and there were so many people that were auditioning for it, but he told me that I was like one of the best ones. I remember, you know, the first day of walking him around the set where he could familiarize himself with his mom and trying to understand where everything was. And then watching him walk in the door there with, with Kurt, played by Zach Levi, uh, that moment when they walked in the door together and they're walking through, it just, you you really got a great sense of what drove this relationship. Okay. Broken radio. Oh, well, you're missing a battery. That's why we're in the bathroom. Look at that. All right. Zachary Levi, yeah, we act go. together in a few scenes. Um, he was very nice and he loves playing music like in between the shooting process, and he always tries making people laugh. <laughs> Come on! For him to step into this role, he is unbelievably kind and loving and full of empathy and understanding far beyond his years. <clears throat> hey. Hey, Z-Man, sorry, I didn't mean to wake you up. Well, the beauty about Hayden is he's not acting. That's exactly who he is. That's exactly who the Warners told us that their son Zach is. And so we found this actor that we believe was placed in our lap and put him in this role and we didn't have to do a whole lot with him. He can do things just completely naturally as an actor. It just comes from within him. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to leave you. Uh, he just had this inner light. I mean, everyone was influenced by his presence on the set. And he was just the sweetest kid and had this spirit about him that was so like the actual Zach. Hayden has asked questions even about Zach to get to know Zach's essence. So he wants to get it right. And he's 10 years old. Like, how beautiful is that, that it's important enough to him to get Zach right? Me and Zach Warner, we both love singing and music. I know tons of things. Me and him are the same. Their souls are so similar. They have this love that I wish I could have more of. I love you. I love you too. I feel like he and I really connected really quickly and that was like a really special and beautiful thing. And I also like remember being that age on shows and how you know, profound those relationships with the adults being your parents can be. He's got a spirit of life that, that is so undeniable. 
and unquenchable. And his zeal and his zest for life is something that I'm so envious of. And then to throw him into a leading role in a major motion picture where he memorized lines, not only did he memorize his own lines, he memorized the entire script. I mean, this kid is incredible. It's very rare that you can work with an actor of that age that's so intuitive and so in tune and processes information so quickly. Just really special to kind of watch. You know, a child actor in a movie, you hope people think he's cute. This kid's gonna steal the movie. I mean, literally gonna steal the movie because he melts your heart. He's a little ray of sunshine that makes everything better every single time he's around. I, I hope that uh, he shines for years and years and years and years. Well, I think that they're gonna take away is that people can do anything if they believe in yourself. And I hope that they learn anybody with disabilities can be actors.